Libra, oh Libra, what's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra between the 4th, sorry I'm late y'all, and the 15th of September, okay? Are y'all being accepting, okay, because you're having to ground yourself, all right? I'm hearing so what they love, better is coming, all right? Um, Libra, love. Unconditional love starts with you, not what anybody else can give you or what you think they can give you. Remember that. This will be from the first to the fifth row. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it does happen. When I when I talk, sometimes it speaks. I'll be speaking to now. A lot of times I'm, I'm I'll be realizing. So it can time is energy. Energy. It, it can happen now, next month. It could have already happened. So we're going to say between the 1st and 15th. Because for some of y'all, it could have already happened. But y'all know what damn day I did it, okay? <laughs> um, I do see, um, y'all, love. New love is all around you. And it's the way that you see it and the perspective that you see it from, okay? So this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for Libra. Y'all, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I appreciate it so much, okay? For those of you who are new to my channel, hey, boo, hey. All right, to my existing subscribers, my existing family, okay? Uh, to the new ones, welcome to the family. We are a little dysfunctional, but we love, love only, positive vibes only, okay? Uh, we share, we enlighten, we uplift, okay? All the negative shit, we don't do that over here. Leave that shit on other people's channel, all right? Because I cuss on mine, and I don't play that shit. I have a Libra rise. I'm an Aries uh, son, so don't play that shit, okay? Um, Libra, this is not a personal. It's a general. Uh, also, because I'm doing you guys, I was toyed to the party, and I apologize again. Um, y'all, I am still offering my $10 special, all right? Um, it is one card, one question, okay, for $10. It's 10 minutes long. And for some people, y'all, just be aware, I am going to send videos for some people, uh, but not just generally, like, I'm going to pick people. But some of them will be video, just depends on my scheduling, because I do have other things going on in my life, and I'm working on building other than tarot, okay? So, I love y'all very, very, very much, and I appreciate y'all for growing and ascending with me. And we're going to get it popping, all right? So this message is for my Libras. We rocking. And this will be again from now to the 15th of September. If you need that personal, that information can be found in the description. Hit me up. We can schedule. I am cutting off today um, by 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to eventually take me about two or three days just to sleep. Y'all, I'm tired, okay? So we rocking. The message that um, you're, sorry, the first message that I have for you guys comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? So I have Rose Quartz. It says, love life. New or renewed romantic love is here for you, okay? So some of you could also, you know, during this time, be, if you if you do crystal work, grow sports, okay? Just a crystal that is going to support you being more receptive and open up that heart chakra, okay? Because I am saying during this time, spirit wants you to open that heart chakra and be receiving to the things that has to happen in order to remove that blockage of the heart chakra that many of you have, okay? You gotta be your best self. Why be mediocre? God did not wake us up to be mediocre, honey. Okay? So let's get it. Love life. Your heart is ready to be, oh, sorry, for great love. And this card validates that your romantic prayers have been heard and are being answered. Rose quartz is associated with innocent, youthful, and playful romantic love. So if you're currently in a relationship, you may want to have a play date with your partner. If you are single and looking, Rose Quartz is a sign of courtship, crushes, flirtation, and the bliss of new love on the horizon for you. This is also a sign of falling back in love with your life and valuing it, like valuing life itself, thankfulness, gratefulness, focusing upon your blessings and what you what you're grateful for allows you to regain the love of life. Prayers can help you appreciate this amazing gift. That God has given to you, okay? So abundance and newness can come in many forms, okay? The love for yourself is most important because if you don't love yourself, you can't add that to other people. Vice versa, if you're loving someone who haven't really, fully, truly learned to love themselves, how can they add to you? And how can, how dare you be, like, expecting of this person to do that? Stop being so damn controlled. I'm hearing that too. During this time, a lot of y'all are starting over new, okay? Things are looking well on you, well for you on the financial front. Some of y'all could have also or will be meeting um, an earth sign, okay? This could be an older woman, okay? Or maybe like a more mature one.
masculine. This woman could be uh, possibly an intuitive, okay? I feel like some of y'all, you're meeting someone who you just want to nurture. You want, you know that you and this person intuitively, you just know that this is your person, okay? For some of y'all, most of y'all, there's so much earthiness here in this reading thus far. Um, it is the Capricorn towards Virgo. And I feel like for some of y'all, it's someone who you left possibly in the past, maybe five years ago, five months ago, okay? Or you could have uh, possibly left someone possibly a gemini and then met this person about five weeks ago five months ago but there is so much bliss going for this person for some of y'all it's definitely that ace of cups for some of y'all it's definitely a divine love it's definitely what you've been manifesting what you've been praying for but it's going to come it's not going to flourish because things have to be in full alignment until you leave something that you know you got to leave behind in the past okay some of y'all, um, some of y'all hate to say it, but some of y'all actually left a divine love in the past, okay? And I feel like for some of y'all, you wanted to marry this person. This person wanted to marry you because you were so fearful of being loved the right way. I'm hearing you, you fucked up. And now you're coming to the realization that for some of y'all, this was a twin flame, okay? Um, Libra, during this time, I am seeing that some of y'all, are coming into newfound abundance, okay? Some of y'all, y'all gifts, y'all spiritual gifts are going to be off the chain during this time, all right? Embrace home. Do not freak out. You're needing to center yourself, okay? It's going to help you better, okay? If you do guided meditations and also work on the aligning, the aligning of your chakras, alignment, also that soul chakra, okay? For some of y'all, it's going to be popping, okay? And for some of y'all, you're needing to focus on realigning your sacral chakra and your heart chakra. That is being illuminated during this time. I'm also seeing that for some of you, you met an earth sign, and with this person, this person wants to deal with you, but I feel like you are your own worst enemy as far as when it comes to dealing with this person because you want to live on who did what in the past, if this person have done something to you in the past, okay? Okay? You want to live on that. Or maybe you've gone through a bad marriage, bad relationship, bad partnership, bad business partnership. And this person is bringing great ideas. And I feel like for some of you, this person is just, I feel like for some of y'all, they mirror yourself. You literally see yourself in this person, okay? Whether it's love, business partnership, whatever. But I feel like for some of you, you're not allowing yourself to see and grow through the situation and allowing yourself to see the wisdom in the situation and to pull back from what you've been through to really fully shed the light on your circumstances or your past experiences okay to shed wisdom on them not turn your pain into power okay that is what's calling upon you on this time but in order for you to do so Libra, you gotta unmask and face those true emotions okay because i feel like in order for you to come into alignment coming to your light self coming to your higher self for something new to be born and rebirth you have to face this solid truth take the mask off you don't want to see certain situations for what they are during this time but spirit is forcing you to Okay, and it was part of your journey. Part of your journey as the cardinal, the sage, wisdom. Some of y'all, y'all spirit animal could possibly be a frog during this time. Frogs. Um, I also see owls as well. All right. So some of you may see you seen a lot of owls. For those of you who live in like country parts, woods, deserts, wolves. Okay. They're signifying for some of you abundance is on the way. For some of them, they're signifying uh, wisdom. And how making integral decisions actually ascend you, okay, and ascend you to a higher knowing and a higher, and pretty much a higher knowing as well as a, I feel like a, a, a place of elevation that's been, you've been longing for this. For some of y'all, 10 months, for some of y'all, it's been 10 years, okay, since you've seen the elevation that's going to be coming towards you in your life during this time, they believe in miracles because I see all beautiful things. But some of y'all, some of y'all are head over heels. You are about a tourist. Some of y'all, uh, if you're wondering if this person is your twin flame, yes, for some of y'all, this person is your twin flame. And you're getting frustrated because it's not aligning the way that you want it to. However, God is not the author of confusion, okay? I feel like with this situation is not allowing because you're not wanting to see and make a decision and face the solid reality that you're gonna have to leave somebody who ain't worth you ain't worth your worth okay they ain't worth your worth you're worth so much more you're worth so much greater and this person ain't worth your worth and you don't want to see that yourself are you afraid of your own success people perceptions everything yeah, some of y'all, 
are feeling very burdened by a decision made, okay? I feel like you have a fire sign, every still sad. This person comes in and out of your life. During this time, this person is going to be making an offer. And some of y'all feel very burdened by the offer because you found something better. But I feel like you've come into this feeling, because I'm not going to say knowing, it's a feeling that you need this person. And this is why the walls have to come down in order for you to be able to see and appreciate the greatness in what's coming. That is going to match your greatness. All right? Please send the messages for me between now and the 15th. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all been uh, possibly stalking or have a fire sign, Aries Leo, Sag. This person is overburdened. And I feel like this person communicates very childishly. For some of you, it's another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis on Gemini. Some of you are moving away. Okay, some of y'all could have moved away from an air sign or thinking about moving away from an air sign for something that you're going to see. Um, maybe this person went out and did something, okay? I feel like some of y'all are going to find out about it through social media, but it's going to be through stalking. <laughs> Possibly cross-stalking this damn video, okay? Yeah, some of y'all are going to find out about third-party situation, okay? By watching and lurking. Your intuition is screaming at you and you listening, okay? But I feel like don't get caught up in the emotion and the feeling, okay? Because ultimately, some of y'all have the expectation of a particular face with the outcome of your Ten of Cups. But just know that you're still going to get what you want. You're just not going to get it with that face, that place, okay? That surrounding, that energy, that surrounding, that, that was a lesson, baby, in order for you to make a judgment call, okay? What do you value most? Who do you value most? For some of y'all, you want to take a leap of faith, okay, towards an Aries, all right? This Queen of Wands and this Food Court jumping out of here. For some of y'all, you're having to make a judgment call. And you're having to choose yourself, possibly over a fire sign. For some of y'all, you're realizing, I fucked up. I need to go take that. Go go take my leap of faith because I love this person. Not only do I am I love this book in love with this person, I'm passionate about this person. Maybe there was a misconception of something that happened in the past. I feel like these moon cycles, um, as these moon cycles occur, okay, because I know that September the ninth is a full is a new moon, okay? As I feel like the feminine moon cycles are really affecting Libra because you're having to connect with your you're having to balance that feminine and the masculine um side of you. Which I feel like sometimes you have the tendency, the tendency to overexert either one or the other. So during this time, it's calling for that balance in order for you to come in alignment. And a lot of y'all are needing to pray. Okay, you needing to ask your divine angels. You need to ask God. You need to ask God. You need to ask the Creator. You need to ask whomever, whatever you call, whatever you connect to Source as. Okay. You put the name on it. I call him. I call source God. I call him spirit. I call him my. I call on my divine angels, and I deal very heavily with Archangel Michael. So, with that said, you needing to connect with the higher power and trust instead of trusting in the things that have not been working for you in the past and a belief that has not been working for you and got have gotten you nowhere. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, but y'all are definitely ending cycles somewhere, okay? And for some of you, you having to end cycles in order to possibly reunite with the twin flame, okay? Or for some things to come together, possibly with a fire sign, and for you to finally receive the truth and clarity that you've been waiting for for quite some time. You're going to get it during this period, okay? Fear, why is the will of fortune here for my big guys? Yeah. Some of y'all... <laughs> Some of y'all had a change to a family dynamic, I feel like, and it could have involved an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like you were being very defensive towards this person. You cut this person out, okay? Possibly because you feel like this person was being defensive towards you, but some of y'all going to find out it had to do with the spiritual awakening on both ends, okay? Especially if you're dealing with another cardinal sign. Will of Fortune. Yeah, some of y'all... Some of y'all are possibly in one cycle and you're going to receive an offer or you want to give an offer. Or finally, just come clean to somebody. Hey, I love you. I adore you. I want to move forward. I'm a little nervous about moving forward and doing so, okay? But I can't change the way I feel. And I would just die. I would just feel like this. Like I got a whole monkey on my back if you walked away from me. Okay, for some of y'all, you're going to be doing this with, uh, some of y'all going to have a fire sign doing this to you, Aries Leo Sag, and some of y'all are going to be doing this to a Taurus, um, a Taurus Capricorn Virgo, or it could be, you know, well, how does it resonate with y'all?
the lovers. Yeah, some of y'all, it's a Virgo. Some of y'all, you've met your twin flame. This person is a Virgo. I feel like this person possibly pulled away from you, okay? Because they want something solid. They want something real. And for some of you, you're married. And that's the reason why you can't move forward with that Virgo and really give this person the cup like you, like they're... Like they deserve, okay? So for some of you, you know that it was healthy for this person to move away. For some of y'all, I feel like for those of you who are married or going through the middle of divorce, some of y'all have your partner trying to work it out with you all. And I feel like someone wants to reunite. Some of y'all got two people, okay? I feel like some of y'all have someone that wants to come out of the cold, okay? Someone that wants to come in and work it out, and someone who you actually want to work it out with and be with. The person who you want to be with, for some of you, it's a twin flame. The person who wants to work it out with you, for some of you, it is a karmic soulmate who there was a major lesson in, okay? And for some of you, it is a actual soulmate, and this person has also gone through their own awakening, and now they have a different perspective, and now you're able to see things differently and actually listen to this person and hear them out because you're more in a grounded state, okay? Some of y'all is definitely fire and earth, though. Libra. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all have a... I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, some of y'all are in a marriage, and I feel like you want to hold on to possibly some of y'all want to hold on to two earth signs, Capricorn to a Virgo. But some of y'all are in a marriage, okay? But I feel like you know that your marriage is kind of in the way of your ace of cups. Some of y'all have definitely met child twin flame, and it was crazy because it's coming in a period where your karmic soulmate with that with that that cycle is ending okay so some of y'all are like what do i do what do i do because ultimately Libra, you just want things to be fair okay you don't want to disappoint either of these people but at the same time you really have to choose yourself out of it and that is your justice that is your reward to yourself to allow things to blossom and be receiving into your world just quit expecting quit attaching to outcomes okay yeah, some of y'all are feeling like you got a monkey on your back because some of y'all are going to find out that someone who left you out in the cold just could be a fire sign, possibly left you out in the cold or in the past, possibly could have created a child with someone else, okay? Um, or some of y'all are going to find out that there is a Virgo, Libra, um, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, this person could have left you for, okay? And that they do have uh, a, a, ch a children with this person after leaving you out in the cold maybe for some of y'all you wanted children so you're having a hard time forgiving this because i feel like i'm this, this situation is for someone who wants children but they can't have them and instead of this person being honest with you they went and did some sneaky shit okay and maybe this person this this, this child's mother or something maybe this person turned their back on this person and i feel like Focus went and focused on something new and kind of build their own world. But Libra, I feel like you actually speaking up for yourself, speaking up, standing for your integrity against the situation. I feel like at some point you need to close the door. And during this time, Spirit is making y'all close the door. Because for some of y'all, catalytic situation or twin flame or a karmic soulmate or a soulmate is trying to come back and you need them to make a decision. Do you continue with two people who are deceptive and do some shit? Do you continue with a new person or someone who your heart screams for when you're unhappy in a situation with someone else? You have to be realistic. Everybody be like, well, I want to do it for my kids. You think it's healthy for your kids to see you unhappy or Arguing with somebody every day when they can see you in a healthy relationship, happy, living your best life, more stable, to actually earn more and be able to better, stay, better, better stabilize your environment, okay? Some of y'all got to let it go. It's not how it is. It's how you're looking at it, okay? Some of y'all definitely have someone in air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, uh, that was that, that that I feel like you left out in the cold and this person is stalking you, okay? Or well, this could be you, but some of y'all are ending this whole I'm watching, I'm 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 dipped off, you know, in them damn bushes underneath that truck or some shit. Some of y'all are ending that cycle and you're coming into a cycle, you know, where you just focus on yourself. I feel like and as soon as you let go of trying to find some shit, then boom, the things that you need the, the things that you needed to know to fully be able to move away from some things are revealed and you're able to move forward and focus on yourself, focus on your money, okay? Right? I feel like balance yourself out, love yourself. But some of y'all are definitely ending three uh cycles with three party situations. For some of y'all, um 
Yeah, some of y'all could have been, some of y'all could find out she was in a three party situation and there was something surrounding a child, okay? There's a child involved. This person could also have put you in a third party situation with a Leo, but I feel like someone, well, there was some third party energy, especially of a surrounding, in a, surrounding a marriage or a family dynamic. I feel like ultimately getting your family back together is something that you really, really want. Y'all do not let pride destroy, do not let pride ruin the best thing that could have ever happened to you. Do not let ego and stubbornness and things of that nature really ruin things for you, okay? Some of y'all, excuse me, some of y'all having to make a judgment call regarding the family situation having to do with the Capricorn, okay? For some of y'all, you now feel tied to this person because I feel like you just won't close that door, okay? For some of y'all, um, I feel like you want to take a leap of faith towards a fire sign, every deal of sad. For some of y'all, it's a Capricorn. Some of y'all, you have a family with two people, okay? You have one, maybe you have two children's fathers, okay? You have one family, maybe you were married to a Virgo, okay? Or maybe, and now, or maybe you had a child uh, after that by Capricorn, okay? Maybe one of them left you out in the cold, the Capricorn or the Virgo. Now, I feel like both of these people want to come back and fix it and mend fences, and you really having to make a decision. It's literally like crunch time. Some of y'all are very indecisive, losing sleep, baby. You really missing your Aries, okay? You really kind of feeling, you seeing things from a different perspective, and some of y'all feeling like I fucked up, okay? Because you didn't trust your intuition in the past, but intuitively, I feel like. I feel like for some of you who are wanting to know if the Aries is thinking about you, how do they feel? Yes. Intuitively, this person, I already know that you're coming. Okay, you have to make the decision to make the move, but I do feel this Ace of Swords communication is coming about, and it's going to allow you to drop these damn burdens, okay? But I feel like some of y'all have been holding on to the weight of letting somebody go because it's just one last thing, one last thing here, okay? What I see with this Ace of Swords, and they're coming with the Nine, with the nine of ones, it's just one last thing, one last truth that's going to allow me to totally move away from this burning some shit in the situation where I feel like there are secrets and deception and things that I don't know about. And for some of y'all, you're going to communicate with somebody that I just can't do it no more. I feel like some of y'all are going to find out about a third party relationship having to do with a Pisces, okay, um, or, a, or a Scorpio, or it could even be a Cancer. But I feel like some of y'all are in a relationship with a water sign, and there's love with this person. But I feel like you feel like this person lied too damn much. And maybe in the past people lied to you. And, you know, you have to walk away from them. But I feel like these are minor lies because this person don't want you to be in your damn head so much. All right. But I feel like some of y'all are kind of having strength. OK, with walking away from somebody during this time. And for some of y'all, y'all and y'all stalking energy. But that too shall pass. All right. It's not the situation from the surface. OK, but how you look at it and what you learn from it, my babies. This is what I have, but you're going to have to make that judgment call. And for some of y'all, it's going to involve you to move completely away from the past. For some of y'all, it's with a Scorpio. For some of y'all, you need to make a damn decision between two earth signs. And for some of y'all, go get your damn Aries. It's okay to apologize. Take the leap of faith. Blind faith, all right? Blind faith, just trust the universe. If you're going to, what you're praying for, if you ain't going to trust something. What you're praying for, what, you, what are you manifesting if you're living in fear? It's nothing to fear but fear itself. Doubt, fear is not real. Okay, it's what you make of it. It's the the paradigm of your own reality. All right. So this is what I have for my Libras between now and the 15th of September. If you need that personal, hit me up. I love you very much. And until mid months, deuces, booze. <laughs>